At Consumer Reports, we test uprights, canisters, stick vacs, and even robots to help you find the best vacuum, whether you have a tiny apartment or vast amounts of carpet. We even run special tests for pet owners to identify the vacuums most effective at cleaning up all that hair. This guide will arm you with the expert knowledge to pick the style or model that best suits your needs. Consumer Reports Online subscribers can find specific brand recommendations and exclusive product ratings on our website. For your primary vacuum, the first decision is whether to get an upright or canister. Uprights generally deep clean carpets better than canisters, and they typically cost less. But uprights are heavier. Many of the best weigh 20 pounds or more. Our tests show that some take more effort to push and pull than others. Canister vacuums can weigh a lot too, but you're mostly moving just the hose and power head, not the whole machine. Canisters also have the edge when it comes to maneuvering on stairs, and the long hose is great for those hard to reach areas. With both canisters and uprights, you need to decide whether to bag or not to bag. A bagless vacuum collects dirt in a built-in bin, but it can be messy to empty. You'll also need to replace any non-washable filters each year, which can be as expensive as the bags. For an upright or a canister, keep these features in mind. A switch to stop the roller brush from spinning. It's handy when cleaning bare floors to keep from scattering dirt and debris. One of the biggest complaints we hear about is with the belt that turns the roller brush. They tend to break. There are some beltless models available. Manual height adjustment is another convenient feature. It lets you raise or lower the power head to better match the height of your carpet. Some vacuums adjust automatically, but our tests show vacuums with a manual control tend to deep clean carpets better. Don't be tempted to buy extra tools. Most vacuums come with the ones you need, like a narrow edge tool for cleaning corners and a brush for dusting. Noise can be an issue with some vacuums. Our tests show uprights tend to be a little noisier. You can check Consumer Reports ratings for quieter models. Sales of robotic vacuums continue to rise. While many are the co-stars of plenty of YouTube videos, they can do more than give cats a ride. Our tests show they do clean, although they don't match the best uprights and canisters. Some robotic vacuums move methodically across the floor in a single pass. They can cover a standard room in 15 to 20 minutes. Multi-pass robots travel in a random pattern and can take up to two hours, but our tests show they do a better job. You'll also want to keep an eye on these little robots the first few times to make sure they don't get tangled up in anything or stuck under the furniture. For a quick clean, you may want to consider a stick vac. They weigh much less than uprights and many are battery powered. They're best for surface and quick pickup jobs. But no stick vac we've tested does as good at cleaning carpets or even floors as the best of the more than 100 vacuums we rate every year. We're a not-for-profit, pay for all of the items we test, and accept no advertising. Thanks for your support. <laughs>